say that all of them need the Golden State Warriors. All of them. All three of the – like imagine LaMelo with Steph. There, that, that's somebody that I figure could actually he, – he'd respect, he'd listen to, he'd learn, he'd mature, and he wouldn't be playing for empty numbers. Same thing with Anthony Edwards, who has some red flags that, that NBA teams are a little bit worried about off the court. And obviously on the court, he shot 40% from the field, 30% from three, and, and won like 11 games last year. So there are, there are concerns with him as well. And then you, you've got Wiseman that a lot of people, and I asked Wiseman this when I interviewed him recently, you know, the, the soft label. A lot of people think he's soft. But I think Golden State needs James Wiseman more than the other two right now to help them win another title. And I'm not saying he's going to be like a 30-minute-a-game guy, but I think he can give him 12, 15, 18 minutes and be a uh, rim protector. He can be a runner who finishes, alters shots. Um, if you don't expect too much from him, I think he can help Golden State. Maybe not in year one, but uh, – Let it, me it, ask you this then. If you're the Warriors, right, you, your window for winning is, is rapidly closing, right? Like how many more years are you going to have uh, – like, I don't even know if Steph is still peak Steph, but how many more years are you going to have Steph at the level that can win a national t- – uh, win an NBA title? How many more years is Klay Thompson going to be at that level? How many more years is Draymond going to be at that level? So my question to you is when you need a little bit of salary relief, and you need someone that can contribute immediately, would you rather have James Wiseman, who probably won't be at the level where he can play 20 to 25 minutes until like his second or third year? Or would you rather have four or five, six picks later, someone like Obi Toppin, who you know can kind of play alongside Draymond Green, you know can space the floor, you know can make those reads and ball screens, you know can uh, be a, a rim runner, do the same kind of things offensively that James Wiseman can do. Would you rather have him for what, I think it would end up being like five million a year less when you already have all of this luxury tax. Yeah, I mean, I get your, I get your thoughts, but, but to me, you're not going to be able to command much in return to, to move down. All right. Let, let's say I said to you, all right, you're going to get a, a, a late first round pick from, from some team in 2024. Are you still doing it? Or are you going to say to yourself, I'm going to take a shot that James Wiseman might be. He's super talented. Let me take a, let me roll the dice because yeah, our window is closing, and, and we need to, to find that next star. Or, or it's maybe LaMelo, and they're saying to themselves, you know what, we do think we have Steph here. And if anybody could figure out how to motivate and how to mature LaMelo into being a great teammate and, and, and being a guy that takes care of the ball a little bit more, it is Steph Curry. So we'll roll the dice with LaMelo, and he doesn't have to play a ton next year. We can just kind of nurture him and bring him along and – and, and in three years, maybe we got that next guy. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it all, it all makes sense. I think all three of them make sense for the Warriors. If I am um, – if I'm Lamelo, I think that's exactly where I, that I, I want to land. But Especially – well, Can you imagine him talking back to Draymond Green in the locker oh. room? What will happen? Oh, it would be brutal. No, it would be absolutely brutal. 